Every time I have reviewed a OnePlus phone, it always turns out the same. Great specs, but a flawed device in ways that keeps it from reaching superstar status. That pattern changes with the OnePlus Open, the company's first attempt at a foldable phone. The OnePlus Open should be a wake-up call for everyone. After spending nearly three weeks capturing portrait photos with the OnePlus Open's Hasselblad cameras and becoming acquainted with its open canvas multitasking, I have come to appreciate how it achieves so much for a first-generation foldable. For instance, it took Samsung effectively five tries to incorporate a gapless hinge design as it finally did with the Galaxy Z Fold 5. The OnePlus Open does that in all fill soup. I don't want to spill all the beans yet on how much this foldable has left an impression on me, but as you will watch my OnePlus Open review, it's the dark horse I didn't expect to like so much. Sure, there are still areas where the Open could improve, but this first effort has closed the gap in such a substantial way for notebook-style foldable phones. Not only is the OnePlus Open a best foldable phone contender, but it's also one of the best phones released this year as well. Winning the specs department, the OnePlus Open outclasses its competition in both size and resolution. It features a main 7.82-inch Flexi Fluid AMOLED with 2K resolution and an outer 6.31-inch Super Fluid AMOLED. These are bigger and higher resolution than the displays found on the Pixel Fold and Z Fold 5, so it's a statement that backs up the Open's lower cost. Our display benchmark test reveals a peak brightness output of 1158 nits with the Open's main inner display, something I found visible using outdoors in my own experience. It's a tad short of the Z Fold 5's peak output of 1346 nits but much better than the Pixel Fold's 1000 nit brightness. At 721 nits, the outer display doesn't get as bright but it's well in line with the results from the Pixel Fold and Z Fold 5. Usually, AMOLED panels exhibit punchy color tones but the default natural color mode is too muted for my liking. That's why I switched the display to vivid mode so that colors popped a lot more on the screen. I loaded up the Super Mario Bros movies and it looked spectacular and its expensive 7.82 inch inner display. Ever since OnePlus partnered with Hasselblad to upgrade its cameras, the modules on the backs of its phones have gotten bigger and bigger. And while it's a bit of an eyesore, the Open's huge camera bump isn't without reason as it holds a large 1x1.43-inch 64MP Lightyear T808 main sensor from Sony with a new pixel architecture designed to increase the amount of light it can capture for even better nighttime photos. OnePlus claims it delivers the best image quality of any foldable available today. While I wouldn't go quite that far, its peaks are relatively close to what you can capture with a Pixel Fold. Photos are sharp and detailed. The one shortcoming is that OnePlus low light processing isn't quite as good as Google's night sight. But compared to the Z Fold 5, the Open's peak often had better dynamic range and less exaggerated sharpening. You also get a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera that can also shoot macros and a 64 megapixel telephoto with a 3x optical zoom that goes up to a 6x lossless magnification. Once again, while that 3x zoom is every bit a match for the Z Fold 5's 3x telephoto cam, its 6x lossless just isn't quite as sharp as the 5x optical lens on the Pixel Fold. But that's not a big surprise because there still isn't a true replacement for high quality glass.
I could care less about the look and feel of Oxygen OS, the software skin for OnePlus phones that runs on top of Android. It's functional at the very least and adopts most of the styling of vanilla Android without the fluff I see in other custom Android experiences. Instead, what draws me most about the Oxygen OS 13.2 running in the OnePlus Open is how it handles multitasking. It's the main hurdle that foldable phone makers have faced by trying to breach the gap with their own implementations because let's face it these notebook style foldable phones are essentially mini tablets open canvas is the feature that oneplus offers with multitasking and after running many of my favorite apps i think it's the best multitasking implementation i have seen in a foldable phone to date that's because it can simultaneously run three apps regardless or not if they are optimized for the larger mini screen for the most part, it's similar to how the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Pixel Fold handle multitasking by dragging and dropping new apps onto the screen, but it's the way Open Canvas handles showing them on a screen that's different and unique. Most apps will display in their usual vertical format, but I like how apps that are optimized for full screen mode are kept in full screen. That's because this canvas dynamically lets me switch my view with full screen apps shifting around to the main screen as I clock on them. This is without a doubt the best multitasking experience I have checked out in any foldable phone but it's also great knowing that I can save up to 9 multi-app presents for extreme multitasking. For example, I set one preset to run Instagram, Gmail and YouTube as a group, then another separate preset for Chrome, Twitter and Age of Origin. This preset remain in the phone's memory so if I use the task switch menu to move to another app they will remain accessible. I can't tell you enough how this implementation makes me more productive but more so when it also features other multitasking capabilities such as the ability to drop and drag content from one app to another. I can have Gmail and the Photos app running side by side then quickly use a drop and drag gesture to add a photo into an email I am composing in Gmail. Another surprising treat I didn't expect to find with the OnePlus Open is its video out function via USB-C. The Pixel Fold can't do this while the Galaxy Z Fold 5 has it and more with Samsung DeX. While the OnePlus Open's version doesn't have the same utility that I like about Samsung DeX, this straight video out screen mirroring feature is still a nice addition for OnePlus phone. At the very least, I am able to connect it to a monitor and pair my mouse or keyboard combo for what's effectively a desktop PC replacement. In true flagship fashion, the OnePlus Open is armed with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip which is also what powers the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Strangely, the OnePlus Open delivers weaker result in Geekbench with scores 1087 and 4203 in its single and multi-core tests. However, the Open puts up better results with its graphics processing performance running 3D Mark, Wildlife Original Unlimited. In fact, it powers through its main rivals with a score of 14157 and the smoothest frame rate of 84.8 FPS. In contrast, the Pixel Fold and Galaxy Z Fold 5 come up short with respective frame rates of 40.4 and 81.3 FPS running the same test. Rendering video in Adobe Premiere Rush took the OnePlus Open longer to do with a time of 68 seconds versus the faster recorded times of 60 and 41.7 seconds posted by the Pixel Fold and Z Fold 5 respectively. Despite these nuances, the Open is responsive with everything I threw at it including some heavy sessions playing Age of Origins while moving back and forth with Instagram. In my experience, I have consistently been impressed by the battery life of OnePlus flagship phones and the Open is no exception. Looking at its skinny profile, it's hard to believe that the Open is packing a 4805 mAh battery which I found more than ample to get me through a solid day of normal usage. By the time I am about to hit bedtime, the Open's battery indicator is frequently holding at around 10% battery capacity. 
Our battery benchmark test reveals the OnePlus Open has the best battery life for a foldable with an average time of 11 hours and 45 minutes with the display refresh rate set 60 hours. Sure, it's still short against a standard flagship like the iPhone 15 Pro Max and Galaxy S23 Ultra, but it's much better than the 9 hours and 46 minutes posted by the Pixel Fold, and still better than the 11 hours and 25 minutes that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 posted running the same test. Conversely, the OnePlus Open posts incredible recharge times as well, courtesy of its 67 watt wire charging. Using the included adapter, the drained phone managed to get up to 50% after 15 minutes of charging and nearly fully charged at 85% after 30 minutes. Yet, there's one missing feature in OnePlus phones that I have been desperately asking for and that's none other than wireless charging. I get that OnePlus wants to keep its price competitive but it's still something I'd like to find in a phone such as this, more so when you are looking over US$1700 for a phone. The absence of wireless charging support is probably the biggest point of contention that anyone potentially buying the OnePlus Open will have to accept. I understand that wire charging is super fast but I wouldn't mind making the phone a little thicker to accommodate wireless charging. OnePlus does more right than wrong with its fast foldable, which I have to admit, it's a satisfying package filled with surprises. Considering that this is the company's first attempt at a foldable phone, OnePlus hit the mark with a premium design that feels and looks more polished than the Pixel Fold and Galaxy Z Fold 5. There is no denying that OnePlus locked down a premium design, but I think it's even more important to stress how it perfected the multitasking experience with Open Canvas. Fundamentally, it is very similar to what Google and Samsung implements in its foldables, but the extra step of how the screen dynamically adopts to fit three apps simultaneously is impressive. The OnePlus Open is not without its shortcomings like the camera's weak low-light performance, but I think the combination of devices, lower price, long battery life, fast recharge time, and premium design makes up a lot of ground for it. On top of that, it also helps when OnePlus is offering its special US$200 trading credit for the life of the phone, which effectively keeps the cost at US$1500. There is no other notebook-style foldable phone that impressed me more this year than this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.